the smell of burning petrol filled the air, and the clouds murmured as were like a storm gathering strength. My heart pounded as I stood tied to a post with the tire soaked in petrol around me. Today would be my last day on this earth. I remember the first time I stole. I was 15 years old and my family was poor. My father had died and my mother was too sick to work. We barely had enough to eat. One night feeling desperate, I took some maize from a neighbor's field. I thought I was smart, but I only felt more waste, more guilty and more hungry. Stealing became a habit. What started as a way to survive it turned into something I could not stop. I took maize, chickens, money, or anything I could get my hands on. Each time I was caught, I promised it would be the last time. But I always found myself into the same thing. By the time I was 35 years old, I had stolen from everyone around me. I took from friends, from strangers, and even from the people who had helped me. Even when I was given chances to change, I could not stop. My greed was like a monster inside me. Today I tried to steal from the village chief. He had new silver ornaments and I thought if I could take them, I could finally leave this life behind. That night I sneaked into his compound. The moon was barely silver in the sky, not enough to light my way. I climbed through a window and grabbed the ornaments. Just as I was about to leave, I heard angry voices. The chief's guards had found me. They caught me quickly. I was dragged out in the front of the villagers, who had once seen me as a clever tricky star but now saw me for what I had become, a thief with no future. The chief spoke loudly. This man has stolen from us for too long. He is a thief and he has shamed our village. I tried to beg for mercy but the villagers were too angry. They had decided on their own kind of justice. They brought out a tire soaked in petrol. I was terrified. My legs felt weak and I could not move. They pressed the tire around me and the smell of petrol was overwhelming. I heard whispers from the cloud. Some people were crying and others talking about my past climbs. I realized I had lost not just my dignity but also the people who might have helped me. As they lit the march, I thought of my mother's sad eyes, of the hunger that drove me, and all the chances I had wasted. I thought about how I could have asked for help instead of stealing, how I could have worked for my needs instead of taking from others. The fire started to burn, and the pain was intense. My last thoughts were full of regret, of lost chances and of the life wasted on greed and lies. I had hoped for a new beginning, but instead I faced the end I had always feared. The flames took over, and as my world turned into ashes, I wished for a last chance to make things right. But it was too late. My life ended in fire and sorrow.